Hi guys, welcome to this session. In this session, we're gonna talk about the Facebook ads automated rules. So automated rules is a feature which you get in Facebook ads account, which we can also use to optimize our campaigns. So this is a kind of a feature wherein we can give certain conditions based on which we would want Facebook to take some actions on the campaign. So you will be able to define certain types of conditions over here. And when those conditions are met, that is when the Facebook ads system will take those actions on our campaigns, ad sets and ads. So let's have a look at this guys, how we can very easily apply this on the campaigns. So once you log into your Facebook ads account, you will be able to create these rules from the rules option given at every level. So you can see here, we can go to rules and here we can create a new rule from here and manage current rules as well. So this feature is available at every level. So here we can create rules at a campaign level. Then at the ad sets level as well, you have the rules option. And then when we come to ads there also, you will get the same option. Other than this, if you want to create rules, you can come to all tools and over here as well, you can do it from automated rules option, which we come, which we get out here. So let's have a look at this guys, how we can create these rules. So once you are on this page, we can start creating new rules in the account. Okay. So let's have a look at this. So you can build out a custom rule as per your requirement, your conditions, what is important for your business, for your account. You can build out a rule, <clears throat> which we're going to see. <clears throat> other than that, there are other options as well. We'll look at, which is related to, we can enable advantage plus creative, or we can reduce auction overlap, optimizing our ad creatives or reducing audience fragmentation. So let's have a look at custom rule first. So as we spoke in the custom rule segment, what we can do is we can build out rules for different levels. So let's say I'm creating a campaign rule right now. <clears throat> and I want this to apply on all active campaigns. So let's take a situation in which you would like to create a rule. Let's imagine that we are running a campaign with a spe specific budget, which we have in mind, which we want to spend on that campaign. So I would like to create a rule wherein I would like to go ahead and pause a certain campaign once it reaches a specific spend. So what I would want from Facebook is that they monitor my campaign spend on a daily basis. And the moment it reaches that particular threshold, it should go ahead and turn off my campaigns. So that's the kind of a rule I want to create <clears throat> by creating this. What we are doing is we are controlling our cost. We are making sure that we are not spending too much money on our campaigns. So you can build this by, <clears throat> we are applying this on our all active campaigns. And the action is that we want to turn off the campaign. And here guys, we are going to add the condition. So the condition would be that we want to have a spend. If the campaign reaches a certain spend, this action should be taken. So we choose that particular metric and we can say that if the spend becomes equal to or greater than smaller than, or let's say it becomes greater than 1000, then this particular condition should be applied. This action should be applied. So you can schedule it as well. Okay. So if you want to schedule it to run the rule continuously, you can do that, or you can do it daily at a particular time, or you can do a custom as well as per your requirement. And then we create this rule. So now this rule has been created, which will be active on all the campaigns. The objective is to turn off campaigns. If the spend goes anything greater than 1000. Another type of rule, which we can create in custom rule would be related to ad sets. So let's look at that also. So let's say this is related to ad sets rule. Okay. And we want to apply this on all the active ad sets. And <clears throat> what we would want is we want to, we can do a multiple things out here, as you can see. So you can turn on or turn off the ad sets or you can adjust the budget as well. Okay. All that is possible. So let's say I want to create a rule wherein if a particular for a particular ad set, we see that the conversions have been increasing, then that is a working ad set for me 
and I would like to increase the ad set daily budget by a certain amount. So in such a case, I can choose this. I can say increase daily budget. Okay. And I can give the percentage or exact amount how much I would like to increase it by. So let's say I would like to increase the particular amount by or a percentage which we are choosing an amount over here, which we can say in this particular manner. Okay. And we can also give a maximum daily budget cap. So yes, I would like to increase the daily budget, but I would not like to go beyond a certain amount. So over here, I can give an upper limit as well to this. So now the condition is, this is going to be a working, a performing ad set, ad set level, right? So the conditions will be that possibly we are getting decent results. Okay, so let's say the results have been greater than five. Okay, that is one condition. Also, let's say another condition can be that we are looking at specific, any particular, let's say, uh, particular CTR, or we are looking at other factors as well, which you can consider also, which can you can consider here as well at the moment, and then you can apply those as well. So if these conditions are met, then we are saying that let's increase the daily budget of that ad set by 500. So in this manner, we can build out and we can schedule it again as per our requirement, let's say continuously or a daily basis, you want to do it and then create the ad set rule. So this is becoming another rule which we have created at an ad set level. The third one which we want to do here now is a ad level rule which we are creating, which will be applied on all the active ads. I would like to, let's say, I want to go ahead and turn off those ads which are not performing. Okay. Obviously, the ads which are not working out for us, not getting us those leads or sales should not be running furthermore because they will rather increase my spend. So I would like to put a hold, put a stop to that by pausing them or turning them off. Okay, so what I would like to do here is again, I'm going to look at, let's say results have been uh, smaller than one. So which means there have been hardly any conversions. Okay, which I'm looking at. Okay, apart from that, I'm looking at, let's say the other metrics can be related to anything related to cost per mobile or offline conversions, any other metrics which you want to look at. Let's say CTR has been less than 1%. Okay. So these are all going to be a low performance indicators, isn't it, right? So when these conditions are met with certain ads, such ads, I would not like to run any further and I would like to turn them off completely. So this particular rule will do that for us. So now when these two conditions are met, it will identify those low performing ads automatically and turn them off. So now we have created the rules which we can create now at, at different levels, which can be a campaign, ad sets or ad level. Other than this, now you have the other options which Facebook gives us, which is enable advantage plus creative. Advantage plus creative is basically where uh, we can you can switch this on and what it will do is it will the, the Facebook ads algorithm system will go ahead and create and it will optimize your ad creative and improve the performance. Okay, we will, they will try to make sure that the ads performance increases over a period of time by creating various versions of the ad creative and running it on multiple different placements. So if you want this to work at the back end as well, then you can create this rule as well also. The other option is reduce auction overlap. So this is a rule wherein we are trying to adjust your ad sets to stop them from competing with each other. So there can be situations wherein, let's say, because the ad sets have different types of audience targeting, there can be some audience uh, overlap or auction overlap, which can happen. So in such a cases, we would like to turn off the overlapping ad sets and increase budget of remaining ad sets. That is one option which you can do, or you can just focus on turning off the overlapping ad sets so that your money is not getting spent on them. So this is another good rule which we can absolutely consider adding. Other than this, we also have optimized ad creative, which is going to be a case wherein if you use, use the standard enhancements, 
This will basically set uh, enhancements to optimize the rat creatives. Different versions will be created and that can run simultaneously. Facebook will automatically create those and run them with different text images which are being used out there and we, it will be running automatically at the backend. And the last one is going to be reduce audience fragmentation, wherein what we are doing is this rule will help to uh, the ad sets spend their budget more efficiently by combining their audiences. So any audience which wherein we see that they have uh, will keep your they will keep your best performing ad sets measured at a lowest CPA. Okay, they will turn off the other ad sets and consolidate their audiences and budgets into the ad set which is performing. So the ones which are performing, okay, they will be kept separate and the ones which are not performing, their audiences will be clubbed together and put into the performing ad sets. So that is another type of rule which we can build out. So these are going to be all the different types of rules, guys, which we can build out and run at the backend. So this is like an automated optimization which Facebook is doing. Even when you are not working on the Facebook ads account, uh, yourself, the these optimizations are running at the back end like a system, automated system, and it is making those changes whenever your conditions are met. So this way, your campaign's performance remains at a certain level, and at any point in time, we don't see a drop in our performance. I hope this makes sense, and now you understand how the automated rules work on Facebook ads. Thank you so much, guys, for listening into this session. And I will see you in the next video.